Given where chimneys are in most drawings, at the top of our buildings, they're usually one of the very last things we get to. And particularly when they're relatively simple structures, as in this Yorkshire cottage, it can be easy to overlook just a few simple ways we can capture the character and the architecture of these wonderful additions to a building accurately. This is the sort of scale we would often see a chimney at and we usually draw them quite small. So when I draw this, I'm going to keep my drawing scale quite small. But that doesn't mean it's not helpful to have a closer look before we draw. Here's a much larger view of the same chimney. The most obvious is that there's a decorative ridge around the top, just below the top course of bricks. Now this ridge comes out in a straight line at an angle. It comes down parallel to the chimney and then it curves back in towards the chimney face and there is a very slight straight edge overhanging the rectangle of the chimney. If we move down, we can see the chimney then widens slightly before it hits the main structure and that where the chimney increases in size, again, we have a straight angled edge. They are great details to try and include or suggest in our drawing even if the scale is very small. And then on top we have these chimney pots. Now this one on the right has this decorative collar around the top and then the very top of it flares out slightly. The other one looks like it's made of metal, it's similar, but on top it has a spark arrester. Let's start to draw. I start with the base of the chimney because normally we're working upwards. So now I want to get this slight lip where the chimney narrows ever so slightly. Now I want to get the proportions correct here. So this chimney is not square, but it's almost square in the face that's facing us. If this is one side, Now here we have that, that slight lip there. Now I need to have this section here. And now we have the top half that slopes in. I like to put little dots to just indicate where I want a line to stop. Now we just have a final part on top that's the same width as that part. Because eye level is down low down here, I know that each of these lines as it goes upwards, the angle has to slightly increase because we're getting higher and higher above eye level. So now we have the two chimney pots. I can see that this one on the right sits slightly off center of this edge. So I'll do that one first. And then we have the one next to it with the spark arrestor on it. So now we're just left with, do we want to show the bricks or what? And I think it can be very helpful to do that. But of course, if we do suggest brickwork, we need to make sure that we keep it in the right perspective. And we can see that there's a larger brick here. So here we have our chimney. And with an architectural element such as this, it's not the main focus. So we don't want to overwork the detail that we put on. And if I'm not showing the brickwork in the main building, I wouldn't show it on the chimney. And while it's a relatively plain structure, there are these little architectural details that if we capture them, build into the overall effect 
of our drawing. So before we start to draw our simple chimneys, we should have a good look at them to see exactly what there is we can use. And I think we'll save ornate chimneys for another day. See you next time.